Welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about how to download Tableau Desktop 2020.2, which is the latest version. Now, this version is, of course, free for instructors, as well as there are certain free versions for students as well. But right now, all you need to do is just navigate to this particular URL, and you should be shown this particular page. From here, you can click on Download Tableau Desktop 2020.2 version. If you need the additional installation guide, it's available here, for example. You can also take a look at this installation guide. It will kind of walk you through. But in this lecture, I'm going to, in fact, demonstrate how easy it is to download Tableau Desktop. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and click on Download Tableau Desktop. And it gives you two versions. So if you're using Windows, then you need to download the executable file here, which is a 64-bit executable. If you are using a Mac, you can also use this particular link to download Tableau Desktop. All right, so, and it's again, straightforward, nothing really doing here. A couple of things that I would like to highlight here is that the resolve issues, if you just scroll up a little bit. So when using the daytime function with the quarter option in Tableau Desktop and with a live connection to an XSOL database, the incorrect quarter is displayed. So just a couple of issues that have been resolved in the uh, current version, which is 20.2. The coming soon is also a nice thing to explore. You can do that. Known issues and, of course, the latest version, which talks about the new features. So before we actually download the Windows version, because I'm using Windows here for myself, and again, this is straightforward. Just download, save it to your folder, and then you can install it. But I'm going to highlight the new features here. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab first. So the new features is kind of nice because it gives you a lot of new things, such as metrics, which are you know a simple way to get curated and consistent view of your most important key performance indicators. So you can create a metric from nearly any Tableau dashboard with a single click and view your metric across multiple dashboards in one spot. So that's something pretty nice. Second is set control, which simply allows to dynamically change the members of a set of familiar quick filter-like interface. And users can simply change the set membership with both a single and multi-select dropdown. So this is also pretty a nice feature within the newest version. And again, there are several other things. So as we progress through the course, I'm going to demonstrate all of these as we move forward. So let's navigate down to our Tableau desktop 64-bit 2020.2.exe, which is about 503 megabyte worth of file. So just download it. Once it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and start the installation process. So I've uh, simply right-clicked and saved this file. The download process has been started. So we'll just give it a few a minute or so and then we'll run through the installation perfect so it looks like it's been downloaded so i'm going to go ahead and simply click on the downloaded executable file and what this is going to do is simply open the downloaded file and start the installation process brings us to the welcome screen it says welcome to tableau before you install the product of course we need to accept the license terms and then this is something that you need to simply check the box if you need to help improve the product itself. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install. There's also another option, by the way, before I actually do this, called customize, where you can see all of these options. But let's continue on with the standard installation process. And this simply is a security user access control. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And what this is going to do is install Tableau Desktop 2020.2 version. And of course, the progress bar shows the actual installation process. And what this is currently doing is simply installing the AWS or Amazon Redshift drivers, or Microsoft ODBC drivers for SQL Server, for AWS Athena, and so on, right? So this is the desktop version, which allows you to connect to any of these data sources. Here's again the Amazon Redshift and the Tableau 2020 installation process. Once it's completed, it's going to bring us to the next screen and it's going to finish up the installation. 
The other end of the spectrum, of course, in Tableau is the Tableau server. So this is, once again, the desktop version. But I'm going to talk about the server a little later on as we progress throughout this course, how that works and how do we actually work within the AWS ecosystem as we move forward. So once the installation is completed, it's going to go ahead and open up the Tableau desktop professional edition for us and brings up to the activation screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start trial now. And this is going to be a 14 days without any restriction. So just simply select this option and this is going to go ahead and then use the start now or the trial version for you. If you have the activation key or the product key, if you bought this, you can of course choose any of the other options. So I'm just going to fill up the form here. Last time it's also required. Say click ask for IT. I'm just standard filling out this form. Great. So once the entire form is filled out, all you need to do is click on register. And this is going to go ahead and take you to the next step or the next process rather. Perfect. So once the registration has been completed, let's click on continue. Great. So let me bring up the actual book one for Tableau and it just lets you know that welcome your 14 day trial has started and here's some great ways to learn Tableau you can open up a workbook and there's a panel here you can take a look at on the right side under discover getting started connecting to data itself visual analytics and so on on the left uh, side you have the option to connect and you can search for data on the Tableau server you can also have the option to connect to a file, whether it's Excel, JSON, PDF, and so on. You also have the option to connect to a server, whether it's a SQL server, MySQL, Oracle, AWS, Amazon, or Amazon Redshift. And there's additional ones you can click on. And there's a whole list of them that you can actually connect. These are all data sources that you can actually use or as servers to connect to your desktop version. Perfect. So. Just a straight run through on how to download and install Tableau Desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this for now. Perfect. And once you're in the new workbook, it gives you a nice canvas area, some data, tables, you can create filters, marks. And again, this is the area where you can actually, once you've connected to the data itself, you can then start to run some visual analytics and so on. So, those of you who've actually had some experience with um, Amazon QuickSight or Amazon Athena or connecting Tableau with the AWS ecosystem, uh, this should run pretty straightforward. In other words, it's quite familiar, right? You, you'll find this entire UI quite uh, standardized and familiar as compared to the AWS QuickSight. But here, just wanted to demonstrate in this short lecture how to download and install Tableau desktop. If I click on help and then click on about Tableau, it kind of tells me the actual edition, which is the latest version, 2020.2, 64-bit Tableau desktop, professional look great. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. We'll be happy to answer with this. Let's move to the next lesson.